Hi, this is Lauren with Summer House Realty. I'm going to address 1397 Highwood Pass in Grovetown, Georgia. This is a six bedroom, five and a half bathroom home, 4,546 square feet. It was built in 2011. It is in the well known neighborhood of Indian Springs. You have street lights, but no sidewalks in this community. You do have a community pool and a playground, or excuse me, a community pool and a clubhouse. HOA in here is $450 a year. You have a stone and hardy board exterior, two car garage, nice front porch. When you walk into the home, you have this large foyer they are working on painting, so some of the furniture is pulled away from the walls and you see some um, spackling going on, but they are painting. To the left of the front door, you have a great, you can make this into a formal living room, an office. They have it set up kind of like a little game room. Coford ceilings with a big bay window. French doors, hardwood floors in the foyer. To the right of the front door is your formal dining room. Judges paneling, coffered ceilings. That is an eight top table for size reference. From the dining room, you do have access to the kitchen as well. I'm going to continue going straight back brings you into the family room to the right you have your coat closet standard size coat closet to the left right before you get to the family room you do have your half bath again they have everything kind of pulled away from the walls because they're painting but you have a single sink vanity Sheet vinyl flooring. You have this beautiful archway, keeping this nice and open. Great room opens up to the kitchen, the eat-in breakfast area, and a sunroom area. Recess lighting. Wood burning fireplace. In the kitchen, you have granite countertops, tile backsplash, 42 inch cabinets, recessed lighting. Tile floors. Walk-in pantry. Eat-in breakfast area off the kitchen, it overlooks the backyard. Lots of windows. And then you have access to the sunroom area off the kitchen or off the living room. Recess lighting. Again, overlooking the backyard. Continuing through, I'm going to go through the kitchen. You do have two access points for your stairs. Um, the wet bar is located between the kitchen and the dining room. So you have 
a staircase here off this little hallway and then you also have a staircase by the front door and I'll show you that again in a minute. You have a wine rack in the wet bar, granite countertops, how backsplash matches the kitchen. Dining room. Continuing down the hallway, this is where you would come in if you were to come in through the garage. Here's your two car garage. You do have two separate garage doors. So you do have two garage door openers. You do have one bedroom on the main for guests to utilize. They have a king bed in here for size reference. Again, everything is pulled away from the walls um, for painting, but. <clears throat> Good size room in here. <clears throat> this overlooks the backyard. Walk-in closet. And this is full bathroom number one. Single sink vanity. Sheet vinyl flooring, shower and tub combo. And then all the way at the end of the hallway is your large laundry room. You have a hanging rack, cabinets for storage. Tile floors in here as well. So now this can, this little corner can be a little confusing. So your garage is this door. Dining room, staircase one, wet bar, kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the backyard while I'm down here. So you don't have anybody behind you, but you also do not have that big of a yard. Um, you're looking at approximately 10 to 15 feet from the fence in the back of the house. Most of your yard is on the side. You do have this nice covered, <coughs> excuse me. You do have this nice covered patio space here Plenty big enough for a table, some chairs. Now I'm gonna head upstairs. So this is staircase number one, and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have a landing here, and then you have one staircase, two staircase. This one's the one by the front door. This one's the one that's in between the dining room and the kitchen. Bedroom number two is to the left facing the front of the house. Full bed for size reference. Tall vaulted ceilings. Full bathroom number two, single sink vanity, shower and tub combo. So every bedroom does have its own bathroom except um, two of them. They have a Jack and Jill. This is bedroom number three. This is a much larger bedroom than bedroom number two and one. Again, this one does have its own bathroom and a walk-in closet. Shower and tub combo, single sink vanity. This one has a walk-in closet.
and this overlooks the backyard. This bedroom overlooks the backyard. Okay. So when you come up the stairs, bedroom number two, bedroom number three, and then your master bedroom is in between. You have a nice large master bedroom, double tray ceiling. You do have a in-suite here where you could set up a seating area, office. Master bedroom does overlook the backyard. Nice vaulted ceiling here. King bed for size reference. In the master bathroom, you do have tile floors. When you walk in to the right is your first closet. So there is a he and uh, two closets. There is a he and she closet. So this is closet number one. Nice walk in. To the left in the master bath is your all tile stand up shower. Jetted soaking tub is right next to the shower with a window above it overlooking the backyard. Commode is behind a door for privacy. You also have a his and her sink vanity, solid surface countertops. In between the two vanities is closet number two. Nice walk-in closet. Continuing down the hall, we're going to bedroom number five and six. Bedroom number five, this overlooks the front of the house. Good size room. Nice tall vaulted ceiling. This is the bedroom that has a Jack and Jill bathroom. I'll show you in a minute. You do have a walk-in closet. So each room has their own linen closet and vanity, but in the middle, they share a commode and shower. Shower is a shower tub combo. So you do have doors that shut this off. So if one is taking a shower or something, they can close the doors and be completely private. And they, again, have their own vanity sink and linen closet. In between these two rooms, you do have a linen closet. Bedroom number six, this overlooks the side of the house. Double tray ceiling. Queen bed for size reference. And again, they have their own vanity. So this bedroom does have its own vanity and linen closet with the shared commode and shower. This one does have a little bit smaller of a walk-in closet. So you have one bedroom that is downstairs for guests 
and you have five bedrooms upstairs. Again, this is Lauren with Summer House Realty. If you would like to know more about this property or any other property, please give me a call at 706-461-7973. Have a great day.